Hello, everyone. We recently finished watching the HBO show His Dark Materials, both season one and season two. And on this episode, we're going to find out what our demons are. If you're new here, I'm Greg. And I'm Aaron. And we talk about science fiction, fantasy, superhero stuff every single week. Hit that subscribe button. Nerd out with us. If you're interested in what your demon would be, then you can just do what we're about to do. Let's do it. If you're interested in his dark materials or you haven't seen the show, we'll put a link in the show notes or description below with how to find it, how to watch it, all that good stuff. So if you're like, what's a demon? How do I, what is that? Sounds creepy or whatever. Like, you know, click the links first, then come back. And it's not creepy. It's not creepy at all. It has nothing <laughs> to do with like demons. <laughs> Contrary to the name. One major aspect of his dark materials are the demons. And in Lyra's world, all the humans have demons. And the demons are a part of the humans. And they are animals, but they can also talk. Most demons can't be that far away from their humans. Otherwise, they'll feel pain. And if you kill a demon or if you kill a human, then the other one will die. Yeah. So it's kind of like you have like a little creature animal following, following you around and it makes you more vulnerable to being killed almost. Depends on what your demon is. Yeah. Like we saw early on in the show, somebody had a butterfly as a demon uh-huh. and they reached up and squished it uh, and the person died Yeah, because the demon died. I think once you turn into adult, you want to have a pretty tough demon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since neither of us have read the books, well, Aaron just started reading it, but uh-huh. since neither of us read the books prior to watching this show, we had no idea what demons were. And we thought it was kind of weird that they were called demons mm-hmm. when, when really they're not demons like what you're thinking. They're, it's just the name of their little kind of their, you can think of them like a, a spirit animal, but real. Yeah, yeah. And not to be confused with demon, like D-E-M-O-N. Like, you might know, like, an evil spirit or the devil. Yeah. It's not nothing like that. It's spelled, like, D-A-E-M-O-N. And it's pretty much just a physical representation of a person's own soul. Crazy, right? Uh Uh-huh. And I liked how Lyra's demon could still change. Because she is not an adult yet. And so the demon hasn't settled. And I keep thinking we're going to find out in season three what Lyra's demon is going to settle as. Do you have any thoughts or ideas of what it might settle as? Well, I think most of the time it's a ferret. So I think the demon, like you said, is a representation of your soul. Mm -hmm. So it would seem reasonable to me that that as you're maturing your demon will kind of get comfortable in a skin mm. you know and it seems like pan is mostly a ferret yeah so i would well, yeah. i would think he's i would think he's going to stick as a ferret yeah well until she starts like venturing off or going to the other world then it it turns into like a little a little white fox and it turns into a red panda sometimes and sometimes it's like a bird and yeah. helps her navigate so I don't know. The fact that Pan can shapeshift has been really helpful. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. I know we can probably Google it and figure it out, but I don't want to know yet. No. No. We'll watch it when we watch it. Or you might actually get through all three books by the time the new series comes out. Oh, yeah. I hope so. So you'll know. I'll probably be done with them in a couple of months here. Yeah. <laughs> so as we said, once you become an adult, your demon settles as one as one thing. Mm -hmm. So when you're young, they can shape shift. And I think the whole idea is, is that you're really finding out what kind of person that you are. So your demon can manifest itself as all the different kind of parts of you. So there's like a angry part of you. There's like a happy, a selfless, uh, an exploratory part of you. (laughs) And I think that's why the demon can shape shift until, until you're in a crusty old adult. Set in your ways. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's only like 16 or something. You're not that old. So are there any animals that you would want to be your demon, Aaron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd want to be the little white Arctic, like chubby little white fox that Lyra has when she goes up north. Yeah. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> I guess being a fox, you're kind of maybe a little bit tough, but you're also cute and fluffy at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, the red panda Lyra had was kind of scary. Like, yeah. That's when Pan was going to kick some butt and take some names. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? What demon would you want? I think a hawk or an eagle, some sort of bird. Yeah. I just think it's the most useful so that I can say, hey, how long is this line at Starbucks? <laughs> you know, you can order on your phone now at Starbucks and just go pick it up. Yeah, I, I totally get it. I mean, like <laughs> I could say, hey, go see if the UPS person is getting close. <laughs> you don't want a falcon? No, a falcon would be good. Some sort of a bird. <laughs> because then I'll know like, hey, tell me when the trash man's getting close and I can run and run the trash out real quick. <laughs> the last minute. All these really useful things. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Not like a fox. A fox is a u- useless animal. I just want a cute little fox that'll snuggle me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bird will snuggle. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll tuck your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out what demons we would have Ooh, let's find out you can go on your phone and you can download the app called his dark materials my demon app i mean doesn't it sound like you're being sorted into a house at hogwarts yes (laughs) it's awesome (laughs) let's both figure out what demon we're gonna have at the same time let's do it you are about to step into another world no One that is both like and unlike your own. Okay. Here, a human soul takes the physical form of an animal. Known as a demon. That's what we signed up for. (laughs) The relationship between human and demon is sacred. Okay, it says, what's your name? Type your name in. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Typing my name. Wait, (laughs) why is it all in caps? Typing my name. Okay. Continue. Continue. Are you ready to discover your demon? Answer your questions honestly. Ooh, okay. I'm I'm ready. ready. (laughs) I'm ready. I'm ready. Tell us about you. Fight or flight? Ooh, mine's listen or talk. Oh, wait, they're different. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be weird. Catch wait, are you going to tell me what you pick or are we going to tell it's each other screen what you recorded. pick? No, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, mine says symphony or solo. Confident or nervous. Quiet or loud? Day or night? Our demons are going to be very different. Oh, mine. Okay, now mine's asking day or night. Hot or cold? Ooh. Oh no, do I want hot or cold? <laughs> That's a hard one. Yeah. Mine says work or play? Think or act? Ooh, that's a tough one. Think or act. Think or act. I definitely. Oh, mine's asking me that too. Think or act. Are you more of a ponderer or a doer? <laughs> I think we both know the answer to that. <laughs> Ponder. Work or play. Mine says half empty or half full. <laughs> Oh, mine does too. Half empty or half full. So they're pretty much the same questions. They're just in a little bit different order. Okay, mine says, are you ready to meet your demon? Are you ready to meet your demon? Okay, ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. (gasps) Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who wants to go first? (laughs) You go first. Mine says, hello, Aaron Panda. My name is Elpidus. 
sounds like I'll be nice. <laughs> I don't know. It's not all it sounds like. I, I've been waiting for you all of our lives. Ooh. Do you want to know what it is, though? Tell me what yours is. It's like a black tiger. Ooh. A panther, maybe? A panther? I don't know. Wow. That's awesome. Wow, Greg, what took you so long? My name is Molino. <gasps> I'm a monkey. You got a monkey? <laughs> oh. Cool. It's like Mrs. Mrs. Coltier's monkey. Yeah. As your demon, my job is to help you live your best life. Because it's my best life, too. It says that? Mine has really big eyes and it's looking at me. It's kind of creeping me out. Okay, who hit next? I hit next. Oh. oh. That's it. As your demon, my job is to help you live your best life. It's my best life, too. That's it. Now we know. I think there's a lot of stuff that you can do with your demon. It's not just getting sorted. There's like these little like quests or like activities that you can do that kind of follow the storyline, which That's I think awesome. is pretty cool. I like my little demon. He's useful. He's got thumbs. <laughs> he can do stuff for me. Like Mine... go, go get coffee and snacks. <laughs> Mine's going to eat yours. <laughs> I don't know. My monkey's crafty. Okay, this is really fun. Yeah. If you've gotten your demon sorted, let us know what you've got. He looks like a Ravenclaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a raven or claw. No. A monkey claw. A monkey paw. <laughs> I got a monkey hand. Monkeys don't have paws. They have hands and feet. Yeah, but it's like the, isn't it like, what's the thing with the monkey paw? <laughs> you oh, know. I don't. Is it a Harry Potter thing? What's a spooky thing? So, Aaron, are you happy with your demon? Yeah. It's not a cute little, short, little chunky white box, but, you know. You should have picked <laughs> nighttime and cold and doer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. You got what you got. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to, like, pick based on what I want. I want to actually answer him so it gives me something that maybe I wouldn't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, it did for me. I... I thought monkey, but then the whole point of uh, Mrs. Coulter's demon being a monkey, I was like, eh, because her monkey doesn't talk. Yeah. But. Does your monkey talk? Oh, yeah. My monkey talks. Okay, good. His name's Milano. He told me his name. <laughs> Thank you for watching, fan dummies. We want to know what your demon is. So download the app. Not sponsored, but we will take a check. You know, his dark materials, HBO, BBC, you know. Fandummies.com. Advertise with us. <laughs> but download the app. Find out what your demon is and tell us in the comments. We want to know. And if anyone gets Aaron's Snow Fox, just, you know, let her know. She might want to swap with you. No, I'll just be your best friend. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like this content. And if you don't like this content, Hit the subscribe button and send it to an enemy. Send it to your worst enemy. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.